Alright, who wants to see how we check horsepower? Here is our Athern Blue Box Ancient SDP40 that we stuck a GE M cab on. Yep, somebody left the dang door open. God oh, dang it. I'm going to have to close that later. Alright, but we got this guy all fixed up. It's almost DCC ready. Like I said, those motor mount screws got to be taken out. And you got to shoe goo the motor in there. Otherwise, we're using the old school motor. And then this thing does not have flywheels either. Ooh, it's running really good right now. Let's, let's, let's take a look. Let me go down the track a little bit. Yeah. Running real nice. All right, this here is a dynamometer. This is how we can measure how much pulling power we got. So I got a little dummy coupler on here with a, a twist tie. I'm just gonna take the, the dummy coupler. Oops, I got them on upside down. Let's change them around. All right, let's get this guy. Okay, just the right way and that's going to be the right way get him on the hook here okay nope he's still upside down let's flip him over now he's the right way okay let's get this guy on to we've got a nail nailed in at the end of the track and then I've got the dummy coupler and this old Athern, the nice thing about it is that it, um, you can just put couplers right in the regular pocket. Right now I've got some Bachman, I think they're called Easy Mate couplers. They're a plastic coupler, and if I was going to be pulling really heavy trains with this, I would change it to a metal one. Otherwise, these Bachman made of they work pretty decent. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to have a look on the pole and then we're going to see what we get on the scale here. This is measured in newtons and grams and we could go ahead and make a spreadsheet on Excel. We could convert that to actual horsepower if we wanted to, but um, I kind of like the newton measurement. Grams is okay too. Let's see how much you can pull. Alright, so we'll give them some power here and we'll go till he slips all right he's slipping okay he broke free and we didn't we weren't watching let's go back and try it again that's one thing about plastic couplers is they can slip let's hook him up again the regular metal Katie's, they don't slip. No, we don't have them at zero. But I don't think we need to start at zero. We'll start here. Okay, we don't want to let them slip too much. What do we got them at? These poles. He can go almost. 100, he goes a little over, between 100 and 150 grams, 1 and 1.5 newtons. That's what kind of power we got out of this guy. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. So that is how you can, you can measure horsepower. Um, and the reason you would do this, if you wanted to find the weight of a train going up a grade, you could hook this on to your train and you could pull it and you could find out the weight of the train. And if you knew what, um, how much power your locomotives had, you can add that up until you get something that matches and maybe a little more. If, you, if your train is going to weigh it's going to take two newtons to pull. This locomotive is not going to be able to pull that train. So you add a you add a second locomotive. We can do that right now. Let's add another. Let's add this uh, 
the GP50 right here. Put this guy on, and we'll see what we get with, with two locomotives. All right, got them hooked up. Let's see. Let's see if they're gonna go. Yeah, they're gonna go. Now what are we pulling? We're pulling 200, over 200 grams. This is two, a little over two newtons. That's pretty good. Let's uh, back off on that and why don't we just add another one? There's a GP60 over here. We'll get this guy on here. Get him on track two. All right, let's see what we got now. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're not even hooked up. There we go. Let's get hooked up again. All right, let's see what let's see what we got going on now. Here we go. We're all we're pulling almost pulling 3.5 newtons, about 350 grams. That's some good power right there. That's pretty good. All right, that's we can do some more of these power tests a little later, but that's always kind of fun to do. And I, I do have a heavier scale. I've had um, eight GP9s on here at one time once, and I don't even remember what I pulled, but I used the heavy duty scale, the big dy dynamometer, to find out what that pulled, and it really, really pulled a lot. All right, so that's it for right now.